who benefits and one is a long term benefit that is the contest of 2024 and the other is the build up to 2024 mm. and in that if you keep that as the context showcasing Rahul Gandhi as the problem and uh, attaching so much relevance to his comment so much so that many, many senior union, an entire government, by the way, is up in arms against one individual, mm -hmm. giving him that sort of importance. Mm -hmm. And the Congress party also, mm -hmm. you know, deciding that, yes, we are not going to apologize, we will say our own thing. Uh, is this very clearly a benefit to both? For the Congress, that they are being able to project their leader as, you know, the key contestant for the 24 battle. Mm -hmm. And for the BJP, that they have a uh, as many in the opposition allege, uh, an, an easier opponent to deal with. They, they had it in 2014, 2019 and now again in 2024. See, I can't uh, sort of predict who will benefit at, at the end, but I can certainly talk about the strategies of the two yeah. In, yeah, yeah. in adopting exactly. the, the stance. No, so is, is this a win-win for both in terms of the arguments that they make? For so instance, that, that, if, that, if that Gandhi, I cannot predict right now. No, no, so. If Rahul Gandhi says huh. that I am not allowed to speak, hmm. And then if, if he is actually not allowed to speak hmm. or he does not end up making his point, then he can go and tell people, no, then look, exactly <laughs> what I said. See, the thing is that it is a fact that though the BJP repeatedly tries to call Rahul Gandhi Papu, it, they are still scared of him. I don't know why. You know, because nothing in his scared of Rahul Gandhi. Yeah, because yeah. nothing in his record has this, shown this that they need to be no, frightened. One, one, one minute, one, let one, me finish. Yeah. Uh, let's go back a few years. Mm. If you remember when the land acquisition bill, uh, the BJP was trying to change it and the Congress op uh, opposed it. This is after the BJP had come to power. Mm. And Rahul Gandhi made some speech in which he just made uh, an offhand statement about, ye suit boot ki sarkar hai. Okay, okay, it's a clever punchline, but it's not something which you think would have uh, a shelf life. Mm. But it led to Mr. Modi changing his entire wardrobe. Mm. Do you remember? So they mm. are scared of him. Mm. And we have repeatedly seen that some offhand punchline or something throwaway remark by Rahul Gandhi has made them, uh, you know, uh, get uh, you know, ag very agitated, out of proportion. But what similarly, this the adaptability of similarly, this time, I, I, I will go along with Mr. Gupta who says that mm. You have, we have to make a distinction between government and country. and the country. I as an Indian citizen will not criticize my country abroad, but I am free to criticize my government. Mm. And that is exactly what Rahul Gandhi did. Mm. 